Before, I'm going to, if we're starting with this one, what I've done is I've made myself, I wanted to show you how you could go big with these. So I've cut myself, again, this time, I've just used larger piece of card. So this was A3 cardstock I cut down, and I've made myself an 8x8 finished card, because I know, I do 8x8, because I know I can do an 8x8 envelope, you see. And then you take the die, we're using it cookie cutter style again. I haven't done a single card today where I've used it with the outside. Use the outside separately, but not in the outside. And then I'm going to position this. And what I'm doing is I'm just eyeballing Joe so that the gap that we have at the top and bottom, I have that same gap on the right hand side, okay? Then all I'm going to do again is use the tip just to hold these two pieces down here right so they're both in place there right and all i'm going to do is pop this on now because it's quite an intricate die jaw and i'm going sideways like this in my gemini i am going to give it a little bit of a helping hand with my metal shim in here right so we've got a little bit of extra crunch on there with the metal i'm going with the clear I'm going with the magnetic and then I'm going with my top plate. So this is going to position it just onto that outside there. I'm just adding that metal plate. You don't always need it, but did you notice when I did the last cross one, because I'd use it on its side, I was having to sit and poke out the bits. I like it when the bits just fall out, right? Awesome. So all I did was add that on there. And then now when I lift this off, and again, if I take the... Um, if I take the tape off first, it, you'll kind of sit. Oh, let's just turn the die over. Right, there we go. If I do that and then lift this up here, there's the bits that were stuck in. You do want to get, these are all just going to pop out easily though. You're just going to pop all of these out here. Then I need another version of this and I need it done in the pink for my paper piecing. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to use this and I'm going to use the metal shim to hold that in place. And I don't need the whole of the die cover, just the bits that I'm going to piece into, right? So just the big three roses for me there. I'm going to piece them in place. I'm going to add that metal shim in again, just for an extra little bit of crunch. Send that through and we will get our piece ready to paper piece. Now, when you're doing paper piecing, you must, must, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? piece of acetate behind so I've used just to kind of have a neat part over here I've used the acetate all the way around the outside here so I've used a larger piece but actually you could use it if you just wanted to put the acetate around the um, flower that would work in just the same way if you are using that wonderful A5 acetate which we've had on the show we've brought it in just for today's show because oh we're right at the end of that one as well I'm out of tape pens. They love you. Do you want me to get you one? Go on, if you don't mind. Oh, I've got a secret stash. I'm oh, going for the secret before stash. Before I do that, oh. I won't give you a running commentary all the way. Don't, don't, don't tell him I I'm getting strange looks out here. I'm just getting a tape pen. Keep that to ourselves. He's like a crazy man. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, thank Everyone you. Everyone looks so alarmed when I walk outside the studio oh, during a live show. Oh, so good. Finding me another one. Brilliant. Right, here we go. So, I'm just using little bit of the dotty jaw all round the outside there to get that stuck especially over where those roses are so you need your straight tape pen for strength around the outside the dotty to piece in the middle now that is ready to go just so that you can kind of watch the whole card coming together in one go right i'm going to stick this behind so this will go really nicely onto there just just to show it off really, really nicely. And then I've also got this piece here just to piece down the front. Now, what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm sticking this down here, right? And then let me show you, I'm going to, I'm going to add this nice little piece with the ribbon. So if I go all the way around here with the ribbon, right? Now, I, used to, I find this works really, really well, right? I'm going to stick that down there. So I'm cutting the ribbon at the right size to stick that down. So that's, can you see the ribbon's the right size there? When I open this up, I'm gonna just stick this. Do you know I should have stuck it behind the acetate and then the acetate would have kept it in place actually. Um, so here we go, I'm gonna stick that down like that. Uh, you're down there. And then I'm gonna pull this round here and stick plenty more of that down there and little bit of that, um, just a little bit of tacky glue 
actually coming. I'm going to pull. Why the tacky just... glue and the um, tape pen there, Sarah? Tacky glue to stick the ribbon. So okay. sticking ribbon onto ribbon. I'm using a little bit of uh, tape pen down there, but then tacky all the way just to hold that in place there, right? So that'll just kind of hold together there. But then round here, you watch. Mm, I meant to have you. No, I'm, I'm all right with you there. Right, that is going to go right. If I tie that round and then pull this into place like here, that is much easier, right? That is a top tip and a half, that, and Sarah. Don't try and wrap it round and tie it in the middle because it never looks nice. Right. Wrap it round and then tie the extra little bit off the side. Perfect. And then I've used those, um, those little tags and I'm going to stick that best wishes just underneath here. Yep, yeah. I'm just going to stick that under there nicely. So there is my base card made, ready to go. But I'm going to start now with the paper piecing. So off to the side here, right? Here is our wonderful die and all the pieces we need. So I'm going to work on this piece first, Joe. And watch what you do. You just come all this way through here like this. Pop all the, these pieces off, right? Can you see? And I'll just make sure all those are out. And Joe, is, I'm basically... No I'm, worries. I'm, I'm preempting the paper piecing coma that I am about to embark into. My, my. I love it how these guys keep me keep me right. Christine Mahoney, right, yesterday, yeah. I've got to tell you something. I did a show last night. I said I needed a volunteer for uh, to keep me right with the uh, vote time, Sarah. Yeah. Christine Mahoney volunteered, so I said yes. And then she wasn't there 40 minutes ago, and we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot we're 20 minutes ago. I think That's she's hilarious. back in the building now. Uh, Marilyn says, you're so damn adorable, Joe. I will take that, Marilyn. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right, you've sat and watched me paper piece that first rose. But in the same way that I've done that first one, you're now going to take the second and the third one's jaw and just pop them into place. And you can see how it's exactly the same. I've got the rest of the card ready, just finished paper piecing that. And that is how you do those paper piece cards. Are they not just adorable? And then, of course, because we use the tacky glue, when it's dry, it's going to be completely invisible on the other side.